democracynow.org, the War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman with Juan Gonzalez. Well, President Obama met with Peruvian President Alan Garcia at the White House on Tuesday. Obama praised Garcia for transforming Peru into, quote, an extraordinary economic success story. Garcia said his policy stood in contrast to the declining forces of what he termed socialist capitalism on the continent. The meeting came amidst growing unrest in Peru over the Alan Garcia government's free market policies that open up indigenous lands to resource extraction. And outside the White House, demonstrators tried to draw attention to Garcia's disregard for indigenous environmental rights and accused him of trying to sell the Amazon rainforest. The meeting between Garcia and Obama took place one year after violent clashes in Bagua, Peru where dozens were killed when the Garcia government sent military police to suppress indigenous protesters. Among the protesters outside the White House Tuesday was Hollywood actress Corianka Kilcher. She's best known for her role as Pocahontas in the Oscar-nominated 2005 film The New World. Corianka, whose father is an indigenous Peruvian, chained herself to the fence of the White House, her body covered in black paint to represent oil. She was forcibly removed. The police had to use a saw to cut through her chains. Both Corianka and her mother, Saskia Kilcher, were arrested. Corianka was charged with disorderly conduct, her mother charged with defacing government property. Uh, we welcome them both to Democracy Now! Um, Corianka and Saskia Kilcher were released last night. This is their first interview. Um, Corianka, tell Tell us why you chained yourself to the fence at the White House. Um, well, uh, for, I, I chained myself to the White House because I really, I really hope. I really hoped that this message would get out um, because Ellen Garcia needs to start involving in its indigenous peoples in decision-making process which directly or indirectly affects their livelihood um, because in the indigenous movement in Peru is very strong and the indigenous leaders there are more than capable in being involved in decision-making process and uh, he's illegally auctioning off um, a land um, without free prior and informed consent consent to its indigenous peoples. And the irony of the president meeting with Alan Garcia almost a year to the date of the of the massacre that occurred in Bagua, could you talk about that? I, I was shocked um, by Obama's celebration of a political leader who calls his indigenous people second-class citizens and barbaric savages that stand in the way of progress. And um, being that I, I voted for Obama, I also feel a responsibility um, for urging my president to take a deeper look at Garcia um, and truly investigate Garcia's past as well as current doings. Um, and, and I trust that when they do uh, a proper further investigation, um, they would find uh, Alan Garcia rather unethical and corrupt and maybe even criminal, but um, in any case, most certainly not in line with what Americans who voted for him would like to support. Um, and as a young person who voted for Obama, I hold my president accountable to be the man that I voted for. And I, I have to say that development is not destruction and human rights abuses are not extraordinary. Um, and we cannot let the environment um, and people suffer anymore because of politics and greed. I want to go to a clip of the Peruvian indigenous leader Alberto Pisango. He just returned to Peru after almost a year in exile in Nicaragua. Upon his return, he was immediately detained for 24 hours. Although he's been released, the charges against him related to protests he'd led last year that have still not been dropped. He returned to my country, Peru. I returned to my fatherland, to Peru, to demonstrate my innocence of the charges against me and to contribute necessary reconciliation of all Peruvians. That's Alberto Pisango, Cori Anka Kilcher. Can you talk about him and what he faces in Peru? 
Um, I actually flew to Panama. I was requested, requested by Alberto Pitango uh, to come and uh, accompany him back to Peru. I had not seen him in, in a long time, so it was really good to see an old friend. Um, he was immediately arrested once we arrived in Peru. But on the plane, we did have a conversation, and he told me that he comes back um, with love for his country, with love for his people, with love for his community, and with love for where he grew up. And he comes back to Peru his innocence. Um, I, I, uh, when, when he was arrested, we held a, a vigil outside of the, um, the, the jail, and um, I had two cameras uh, from my Youth for Truth uh, on cue initiative organization, and we were filming, and I went and sat on the steps, and the police tried to remove me, but they didn't, and, and then the next day, we were standing outside of the courthouse, and um, we were rallying out there, and the, the youth in Peru and the organization of, of the indigenous peoples there was amazing, and they loved their leader, Alberto Pizzango. And, um, and, and it was a wonderful moment when he was released, and it was actually as well as the 30th anniversary of IDASEP. And um, it just was an amazing moment, and it was good to have one of our leaders back. However, there's still um, nine indigenous leaders that have charges against them, and I urge President Obama to urge Alan Garcia to drop the charges against the other um, the other leaders, and uh, and and urge uh, Obama to uh, urge President Alan Garcia to involve indigenous peoples in the in decision making process and have the free, prior, and informed consent and um, and uh, yeah so that's what the situation is um, uh, although Alberto Pizzango was released um, there is still major charges against him um, and that they can still take him back into jail so it's very crucial that the world watches and that Alan Garcia and the government of Peru knows that we are watching uh, Corianca, you were uh, arrested along with your mother, Saskia Kilcher. I'd like to ask her, uh, first of all, the d decision of both of you to get arrested, and especially in the, in the light of uh, all of the uh, petroleum damage that we're seeing in the Gulf. Uh, if your mother could talk about the petroleum damage that's occurring uh, in, uh, in Peru. Well, um when Koryanka came up with the decision of uh, wanting to, uh, you know, make a strong statement, her youth organization, uh, Youth for Truth in Los Angeles, uh, they went through several scenarios. They decided to um, uh, take a PVC pipe as well as a heavy duty chain and um, do multiple uh, tying downs to the fence. And then uh, actually a couple of the really young members of her organization came up with this wonderful mix of finger paint, uh, vegetable oil and shampoo, which really looked like uh, what we're seeing in the Gulf. And so Koryanka was aware that she uh, is going to have some pretty heavy charges, which by the way have been upgraded. She does not have the minor charge, which you mentioned earlier. It is now illegal uh, illegal entry and they were actually we heard that they were trying to make both of our uh, charges federal I don't think it's going to happen but still um, uh, they they had us separated for a while they were switching the charges around but right now I believe that Koryanka is charged actually with illegal entry um, onto the White House property and the Secret Service and the HAZMAC and a lot of um, odd agencies are uh, seem to be very involved in this whole thing which of course being that it was finger paint we just hope that the charges are going to be um, proportionate to what BP shall receive uh, for what they're doing in the Gulf so we're good with whatever we are uh, receiving we believe in the US justice system to uh, give us what finger paint should get on the sidewalk and give BP what um, the millions and millions of gallons in the Gulf, Co um, Gulf Coast shall get. So as long as it's proportionate, uh, we're good with it. We just have 15 seconds, Koryanka. You are part Quechua, is that right? Yes, I'm proud to be indigenous. I'm half Quechua Wachipaide from Peru. I want to thank you both for being with us, Koryanka and Saskia Kilcher. Koryanka Kilcher, Hollywood actress, outspoken activist on environmental indigenous issues. Saskia Kilcher, her mother, they both just came out of jail after protesting outside the White House.
That does it for our show. Democracy Now! is produced by Mike Burke, Shufa Dokadu, Sarah Mata, Andrew Cummins, Steve Martinez, Nicole Salazar, Hani Masood, Robbie Karen, Mike DeFilippo, Peter Curry, Miguel Naguerre, our engineer. Special thanks to Becca Staley, Julie Crosby, Nick Gilla, Hugh Grant, Samantha Chambly, Jessel Noor, John Randolph, Kellen Innocent, Rakim Penny, Vesta Godars. I'll be in Washington, D.C. on Friday evening and Saturday and Sunday in Seattle, Washington. Go to our website, democracynow.org. I'm Amy Goodman with Juan Gonzalez.